So he said to me, Brian, why did the chicken cross the... He didn't even let me finish the joke. It's, it's okay, because there wasn't a joke anyway. This is what happens. They throw things at me, and I can't finish the joke, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com, and what do I have thrown at me today? I had the Porlex Mini Coffee Grinder 2 tossed at me. This is one of the smaller things I've had thrown at me for an unboxing. And uh, let's get in and take a look at it. actually have not had this one in hand before, so I'm reacting as I would, you know, hopefully if you were to get this at home and just take a look at it. Uh, first impression, I actually really like the packaging. I'm, I'm not always super into packaging because I kind of feel like, so what? It really is the product that matters, but the packaging is cool. It looks really clean. It has, it's made in Kagoshima, Japan. That's pretty cool. I'm alright with that. And so, you know, I mean, it's got a very clean design on the outside, but let's see what it's all about on the inside. This is an unboxing, not just a box video, Brian. So, alright, ooh, nice. So, first impression, handle looks clean, looks like good quality metal, and not really anything else in there. Here's our grinder. Oh, hey. I gotta say, it's, it's cool looking. And it's light as heck. There's nothing else in here except some instructions. It's one of those it's one of those instruction sheets that's like a map. Unfold it once and then you're never probably gonna fold it again. So I'm just gonna set that aside for right now because I don't want to cause more work for the uh, production crew here in the studio. Uh, but let's take a look at it. Let's see here. Ooh, wow. Cool. The burrs in this look really cool. So they're ceramic, I believe. Let's look at the uh, features real quick. Ceramic burr set, adjustment nut, new improved adjustment nut, new improved ceramic burr set, built to last, stainless steel burr housing and grinds bin, uh, compact size, yeah, definitely. And uh, manufactured in our factory in Kirishima City, Kagoshima. And yeah, cool. I mean, so it's, it might be hard for you to see. I'm gonna make a note about what it says here about the adjustment nut. It says 16 steps of adjustment per rotation allowing for finer adjustment of the coffee grounds. Each step will change the size of the coffee grounds by 37 microns on average. Grinder body is self-supporting with grinds cup removed. Yeah, that's that's cool. I 37 microns is impressive. I gotta say, if this is able to hit that kind of grind, I am very very impressed because that's that's pretty darn fine, especially for a very small hand grinder and one that is ceramic burrs. I usually see the finer grinds coming from stainless steel burrs, and uh, overall, I like. I think the only thing I'm not sure about is what is this rubber ring this oh so this is just for retaining your handle because you can slide the handle into there so this is cool hey wow dang that is smooth the adjustment ring is really easy to use yeah cool that, that is awesome, I have to say. Just a first impression there without ever having hands on this. The adjustment is super easy to do. I'm just holding on to the shaft here and then just turning and it turns, man, buttery smooth. It's really cool. Yeah, you can tell that there's care put into the design of, uh, of this. You can just tell, it's really carefully designed. I've got my arrow press out again. There's a little bit of gossip and rumor out there that you can take the Porlex, as you saw what I was trying to do a moment ago, and get it, store it inside your arrow press uh, for carrying it around. Let's have my, hey, thank you, production manager. All right, production manager Igor with the quickness right there. Um, okay, so there is a rumor that you can put the Porlex into the handle of your AeroPress, but we're gonna say don't do that because we did and parts just randomly get stuck inside of it. So like this cap came off, the bottom catch jar came off, it just gets stuck and that wouldn't be any fun. So you probably don't wanna do that. It, 
It would be really cool if it worked because it's just about the size of the handle, but with this, uh, with the top nub which your grinder handle goes onto, it's still gonna stick out. So it's, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's okay because it's still small and I don't think it would be a problem. Hey, ho! And you know what? Honestly, yeah, just use your, your AeroPress carry bag. Everything's gonna fit in there. Yeah, I mean, you would be fine. So it's not really a big deal. I love it when things fit, you know, perfectly. The, uh, the Libra Virgo in me loves it when everything's like perfectly put together and fit, but it's just probably not gonna happen. That's okay, it, like I say, it's really all right because overall this is just a cool looking little grinder and it's super small. It's, it's, a, it's pretty much about the size of my own Hario that I have that I carry around. Um, when I go on the road very often, but this feels like it might be even easier in the hand, which is pretty cool. And like I say, I'm definitely impressed by by these uh, these burrs and this adjustment. This is very very cool. So first impressions seems awesome. I'm I'm into it. I like this. And so we did the math, and it's not too tough, obviously. <laughs> um, so hey, we did math. Be proud of us, guys. Uh, so we did the math, 37 and a half microns per step adjustment, 16 steps on this, works out to 592 microns, uh, roughly. And so that means that this is a perfect grinder definitely for espresso, AeroPress, what, you know, pretty much my preferred way of making coffee, and possibly for pour over or drip, it would probably work okay for that. You might still get differing results, but this is definitely perfect for on-the-go espresso and AeroPress, which of course is great because of its size and because most of the time if you're on the go, you're probably going to make a coffee about like that, especially if you're using something like the AeroPress while you're on the road. There's not a whole lot else for me to cover here, but if you have questions about this Porlex Mini Coffee Grinder 2, I'd love to hear them in the comments section of this video. You can always find this and many other coffee gadgets at FrenchPressCoffee.com. And if you're looking for other videos about the Porlex, of course, keep an eye on our channel here at FrenchPressCoffee.com. As always, everyone, I'm Brian. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time and take care. So did you like that video? If so, go ahead and give us a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a great coffee quote. Come on, subscribe. All right, awesome, thank you so much. And now for the coffee quote. Remember that coffee is like a hug in a mug.